If you have a more expensive printer like the X1, it comes with a built-in camera so you can monitor and control it from an app. But what if you have a low-cost printer like the Ender 2 Pro? That's where the Minion Beagle Camera version 2 comes in. You can monitor it, control it, and even do time lapses on a low-cost printer. I'll explain it all on today's Film Up Friday. Film of Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. This video is sponsored by Mintion, the creators of the Beagle version 2 camera. The X1 will cost you about $1,200 and it comes with the Bamboo Handy app that you can download to your phone. The Ender 2 Pro will cost you somewhere between $125 to $160 depending on where you buy it or if you get it on sale. And the Mintion Beagle version 2, you can get this with a discount code that's in the description below for less than $90. It also has an app that you can download to your phone that allow you to monitor, control, and actually do time lapses on your printer. Version 2 is an upgrade to version 1, and it comes with a tripod stand, which makes it easier to position than this thing that you actually had to mount on things to get it to line up. Now, I have a hotspot in my office, and this thing connects at 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz, where this one was strictly 2.4 gigahertz. I found that the 5 gigahertz made this much easier to connect. Version 2 has a manual focus and also double the RAM of version 1. It also has a data out port. I'm not sure how to use that yet, but it's something version 1 didn't have. And just like version 1, it's got an SD card, a micro SD card, for storing all the time lapse video. It comes with a printed manual which takes you step by step through the setup. And you can also download a PDF version if you want. You get to a point in the manual where it says to download the app, and then the app takes over where you actually scan a QR code to take you further through the process. Let me take you through it. This isn't a complete setup. You still should follow the manual, but at least I'm giving you an idea of all the steps to get this thing working with an Ender 2 Pro. The manual shows you all the pieces that are included in the box, and from there it shows you all the different features of the camera and where to find the connection ports. It even shows you how to connect the tripod, though I don't think too many people need that. After that, it suggests downloading the Beagle Print app, and from there, the app takes over. I found it and downloaded it to my iPhone. You can click on Sign Up at the bottom and create an account. You log in, select the camera that you have, and then I did the QR scan option, although there is also a LAN search option. The camera will talk to you in a female voice and say, Camera is ready for Wi-Fi connection. Check the box that you heard the voice, and then it'll give you a QR code that you can scan on the camera. If everything goes right, you should see an image on your phone of what's in front of the camera. Back to the manual, it describes how to connect to the particular printer that you want to use. You click on the gears at the bottom of the app, and then you go and select the printer brand that you're working with, and there's a whole bunch of them in the app. Then you select the printer that you're going to use. Of course, I'm going to use the Ender 2 Pro, but there's a lot in here as well. Then you connect the cable from the USB slot on the camera to the USB slot of your printer. The cable that came with it works with my Ender 2 Pro. You may have to use a different cable for the printer you're using. If you click on the gear in the upper corner of the app, you can go to the camera information, and in there you'll find an IP address. Enter that IP address in the browser on your computer, and now you can monitor the printer right from the computer. And I use the computer to upload the G-code files. I find that's easier than trying to do it on my phone. In the app, click on the Files icon and you'll see all the files that are available to print. You can click on the plus symbol and add as well. Once you see the one you want, click on the print symbol and it'll start printing. From here, you can watch it on the app and also stop it if you have to. If you want to monitor temperatures, there's an option to do that as well. If you click on the gear in the upper corner again, now you can adjust the time lapse settings. And there's four different kinds of time lapse. I'm doing the clean time lapse, so it, it stops, takes a picture, and moves back. Now, the settings for this weren't exactly right for my printer, so it came out a bit rough. You can see some extra stuff hanging off, but this was kind of cool. If you click on the camera icon at the bottom of the app, you can see all the time lapses, and you can download them and then play them right on your phone. You can also do this from the computer. Now, this is not really something new. I mean, people have had Octoprint and cameras working on the machine doing time lapses for a while. But this is more of a plug and play than setting up Octoprint. It was pretty easy to set up, and I like the fact that I can control the printer remotely. I have cameras where I can monitor a printer, but with this one, I can stop it. And I like the time lapse feature, even though I got to improve the settings. So, Mintian did send me this, so this isn't a really a review, but I have to say I like it. I'm going to keep it, and I'm going to use it. 
I'll put a link in the description below where you can buy these right from Bintian, either direct or through Amazon, and a $5 coupon code so you can get that lower price. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way, or a membership at things.com. And if nothing else, click on that Filament Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.